Hey guys, it's Alex again from Tandem RC. Welcome to another episode of my RC Project Snowplow. And yeah, so today we're going to be doing a few things. We're kind of going to be... I'm not really sure exactly. We're going to be hooking up the servo. That's for one thing. Um, I did this little modification to it right now that it's got um, this momentary switch. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, but I got it... I forgot what I got it off of. Maybe some kind of computer po component or something. But it's pretty cool. And there, my camera finally focuses. So basically what's going to happen, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to plug it into my car. And this is going to trigger the uh, lights for the plow. Now I want to have two lights on each either side of the plow. And whenever it's down, the lights should go on. So hopefully this will work good. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go right now. But I'm going to get to my truck, plug this baby in, and show you how it works. Okay, so I got the servo plugged in on the third channel right here. And I'm just going to hit this channel 3 button, and you should see it move. Alright, so that is the servo retracting, or basically pulling the plow up. I'm going to hit it again, and now, as you can see here, if I get it closer, you can see that it presses that down. So, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I think I have to make a few adjustments. This is going to get epoxied on here, because this servo is not really worth much to me. I'm also going to have to plastic dip it. So once I get some plastic dip and some epoxy, I'm going to do that. And then we also have to epoxy the other stuff together. So I guess we're going to move on to the other portion of the video, which is making a mount for the servo, which is going to go right here with the old stock 4x4 little piece went here. So uh, this is actually broken. I probably would have figured out a way to use it for the servo but it basically fits like you know right in there and that's what we're going to use we're going to use a piece of luck sand for the servo mount right here so I'll get back to you guys with that alright so I got my sheet of luck sand here I'm going to line up the servo as close as I can to each edge and then just draw a line up oh, <laughs> that kind of messed up and then we'll just cut right across there Okay, so I got it here. It looks pretty good. There is a tiny, tiny little uh, gap right there that happened. On the right one, it looks fine, though. So I just really want it to be a little bit smaller on the end there, if you guys can see that, just so that it doesn't pop off. So hopefully the tension on this thing will be decent enough so it pops in just fine. Let me just take these two screws and put it in real quick, and we can test it out. Oh, of course I put a crack in it. This stuff is so weak, man. I'm telling you guys. Alright. It looks like it'll hold. I'm not sure. If it really doesn't, then I'll just make a new one. It really takes about five minutes to make one. But it should sit on here. I'm going to put some servo tape on there. And it should hold. I was going to put it all the way up to the bumper here. As you guys can see, it's not all the way up there. And my bumper is all wiggly because I don't have the right screws right now. But... Remember, guys, you got to give it some flex if you hit something, so I think it's really perfect right there. If I hit something dead on, it, it'll kind of suck, but um, if I don't think I will because I'll only be driving this at like 15 miles an hour max when I'm plowing. So I think that should work fine. We're going to use this. It's like kind of like throttle cable to um, for the linkage, and I think I'm just going to see how that goes I still have to get I just actually ordered my body and all my lights so we have to see how it'll fit through these lights um, so once I get that I'll make a new video um, but yeah that's really it for this episode that's really all I can think of I just got some uh, black paint right here to me a paint for polycarbonate and um, yeah I think I'll just make another one of these uh, either that or I'll make something out of a different material because it is pretty bad as you guys can see um so yeah i'm gonna paint this stuff next episode we'll probably have the body by then and i also got the rear light for the rpm bumper here i just gotta get the leds so i have the canister but not the light and then also like i said front front light for the front bumper and then the uh, i'm also gonna get a roof rack bumper which is gonna be pretty cool so yep guys that's really it for this episode I got the servo pretty much all planned out, just gotta have a different power source, and I have another plan for that, 
Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next episode.